Hey guys, so I'm back again. I just wanted to go through with you uh, my beauty routine today. So I'm actually getting ready um, to go out. So I'm just going to do a light uh, review on what I do with my face. <laughs> so I'm not wearing any makeup at the moment, but it's kind of, it's late afternoon, so it's four o'clock. So it's a bit gross and I still need to wipe it off. So I'm just using just my Nivea face wipes. Just like to give it my face a fresh feeling I guess before I put any makeup on. My skin's fairly dry but kind of normal. I don't really know. Everyone always asks me how I describe my skin but I'm not, I'm not very educated on that area actually. <laughs> um, but I definitely know it's not oily so which is good. Now I like to do this because it makes me feel fresh and it kind of tightens your skin. I guess, maybe. Um, I'm a little bit addicted at the moment um, to rosehip oils. So this one I just got from Priceline. It's um, the Akin one. And um, I kind of, like, I got sucked into, like, the Miranda Kerr and, you know, it being, oh, she just looks amazing. So, but I can't afford the $50, $60 one that she has. So kind of just went for um, the Priceline version. I think this was about $16. And, um, yeah, it was... I read a few reviews on it and people said it was good and I've never really tried it so I thought I'd give it a go. It is great. I will my skin's never felt so good and I actually feel a bit more confident not wearing makeup because of it I think. So <laughs> I think that's good. Um so all you do it comes in like a little kind of medicine looking thing and it comes with a little tubey. <laughs> um so it just says to drop about three or four um, on your fingers and then you just kind of rub it together. I tend to pat it just on my face like that and then it massage it in and then just get the excess down on my neck a bit. As you can see it's already giving me like a glowy kind of thing and originally I thought oh it might make my skin fairly oily but it's actually doesn't which is surprising because it feels like an oil when it goes on but dries really nicely and um you can I don't know the lighting's not so good but you can kind of catch it in the glimpse there and yeah so that's um what it does and it just like it, I, I find it's really good when I'm going to uni just to have you know something on my skin that's going to protect me through the day and rosehip oil is meant to um what is it meant to do actually I can't remember but I've heard lots of good things about it so maybe watch another review on that because I'm not a professional yet um, so yeah that's what I'm using um, at the moment and now I don't actually have a moisturizer that I'm enjoying at the moment because I don't know my skin type oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure on like what suits my skin and I've tried heaps um, and I, obviously I really loved Dermalogica's active moist but it's um, expensive, so I <laughs> can't really afford that. Um, but I've been getting all these like random samples of things, and today I've just got Nivea's Daily Cleansing um, Essentials Light Moisturizing Cream. So um, yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, it's a Priceline Chemist brand. Like, it's not you know, it's not top of the line or anything. But I think it's like ten dollars to buy from Target or wherever, and I just put that on. I also have tried Garnier's um, BB cream thing, which is kind of good too, but I don't know, I'm still out there to find one that I really like. So yeah, that's on. And it's um it's quite fresh, I guess. <laughs> um yeah, so I'll probably let that sit for a little bit and then um, I will come back and show you what I do with my makeup. Hey again, so um, my moisturizer is now dried. I'm just going to take you through with what I do with my uh, makeup at the moment. So I tend to use a variety of different products, um, probably MAC more often than not, um, but I've recently been able to grab some um, new Napoleon um, products. So we've got the primer, which has had a million reviews. It's amazing. I used it when I was... Um, you know at school and it was a really good product to for long wearing and I've been using it the last couple of days and it's just 
great. Um, and then also there, Napoleon, um, sheer genius. I am look to, it's going to be back to front. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, um, I've used that previously and it's amazing as well. It's a little bit expensive, um, but it's a good uh, foundation if you're just wanting to use it for, you know, going out or not so often, not every day, but it is a really nice um, foundation. So yeah, I'm just going to, what I do is I put a little bit, just comes out like that. And I just have a foundation brush thing that I use. And that's just body shop, I think. I just put that all over my face. Kind of goes on fairly creamy. Now I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but I tend to just I'm quite rough with things, like I'm not a like It's I'm, four o'clock. Oh that's my computer telling me what the time is, sorry. Um yeah, I'm not fairly I guess cluey as to what goes where and and the, the right way to do things but this is just what I know to do so please feel free to correct me if you have any tips for me <laughs> so just use the rest of that up okay so put that on and they say to leave it um, dry I think for a couple of minutes, um, which I probably should do a little bit, but let's speed dry. <laughs> I love to do this because it's rejuvenating, I guess, and a little bit refreshing when I've been studying all day. So yeah, but I don't know if you can catch it. It's quite dewy, but it goes on fairly light and by far one of the best primers I've ever used. I'm not really a big primer girl but now that I've got that I will most certainly be using that more often than not um so what I do then is I give this a shake because it doesn't come in a pump pack or anything it comes in that really random pour bottle which I personally don't quite like because it means you have to have q-tips or these things <laughs> I don't know what you call them um to actually get in because otherwise you've got to pour it on your hand and then you waste product and for seventy dollars a bottle I'm not willing to do that so <laughs> um, I'll stick with this now all you do is just get it in there now probably a bad thing that I do is I just take it out like that and then I'll just put some stripes on my face like that make it a bit random probably looks like I've got a disease but that's alright I just find that's better than having to put it on a secondary you know, piece of glass or something and then apply it. So just start with a little bit with, and like it, that's, you know, it doesn't come out. I'm not taking much out at all really. And it spreads quite easily. Yeah, so that's done. No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, it does look funny. So just take this again and um, we'll just blend that in. Now this is a lighter colour look too. I'm naturally fairly fair and um, I try to uh, fake tan as often as I can because I, I, do, I do like having a bit of a glow being in Queensland so whatnot. But these um, Sheer Genius is really great because you can use um it, it has light reflecting i think particles in it that pick up your natural skin tone so or whatever skin tones underneath so hence my tan and it initially looks funny but as you start to blend it you'll see that it's it'll start to look more even now i don't actually have a mirror so i'm not be sure if this is just keep dabbing it anyway now you can use your fingers as well I tend to go over it with a foundation brush first and then I'll grab just my fingers because you know how you can get like 
foundation brush marks and it kind of looks weird but I don't know they tell you that it goes away but I don't necessarily think it does so yeah that's the Napoleon look too now from this in this lighting it looks like my neck's a little bit darker but I will be able to um, fix that and I'll take my hair out as well which is fairly long so it tends to counter counterbalance that um, color and I just used the face wipe that I used before just to get my fingers a bit clean again so now what I'm gonna do is I'll take you through I'm a bit of a Napoleon addict at the moment actually I've got their new camera finish which hello new casing amazing comes in a little black pouch and then a beautiful gold Oh, absolutely beautiful gold new casing. Now, I don't know. Oh, this just looks so nice, doesn't it? It's so pretty. Um, it's a bit of a prized possession, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is the camera finish. I'm They've got new colours now. I'm a G2. Um, it's it's like I'm, I'm sort of a G2 mixed with, um, I think it's a G1 possibly, what the new one's called. Just depends, you know, get them to test that on you. Now, I don't have my powder brush. Bear with me. This is just um, probably not the best one, actually, to use for this, but it's all I've got at the moment, so we'll use that. I just like to take a bit off, go around a little bit, not put too much. You don't want to look too cakey. All right. So let me actually have a look in this mirror. I did fairly well. <laughs> I'm looking at a computer screen, so it's fairly hard. Um, all right, so that's the camera finish, um, primer and the sheer genius on my face. Hey guys, so this bit of my video just got cut out by accident. Um, I've been using the Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara in black, so you'll be able to see um, the results in this next part. I am back again, so I've actually just put this mascara on, and as you can see, it's given me really nice long lashes and um, yeah, it's, it's seriously one of the best mascaras I've tried that's only $15. So um, that's a big plus for me because it's not, you know, 50 like some of the other ones, which are amazing that are 50. But for somebody who, you know, is on a budget or at uni like me, you can't really afford to go out and spend all your money on makeup. I prefer to buy clothes personally, but no. Um, so yeah, this is um yeah, it's really pretty, and it's um what I do is um apply a one layer and then wait you know ten seconds and then go and do um, another layer, and it just gives it that really nice volume and um, lengthening um, effects. Now, um, I do have very long lashes, so I find it works really well on mine. Not too sure how it works on others, but it's worth a try um yeah so as i was telling you before it's kind of evened out now so this is uh, my makeup finished um I, except no wait <laughs> my new i did a video just before actually on the new real sexy so this is what i wanted to wear um tonight so i'm going to be um putting that one on yeah so that's that and as you can see it really is such a beautiful color oh Got it down the teeth there. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Um, yeah, so that is my um, makeup now. Yeah, as I said, I do have really long hair, so I'm gonna wear that out tonight. Actually, I've been wearing it up in um. Actually, I was wearing it not just now, but I was before in just like a roll around bun. And um, I normally have quite curly hair. You'll probably see that soon. But um, yeah, it's I've it's become quite wavy. And, um, yeah, all I did was, um, you know, wash, blow, dry that. And then it's, um, been in a bun all day and it's kind of just have that really relaxed look to it. So yeah, that's me. And this is finished product. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed my video and I will see you soon. Bye.